point of the night off and we talked yesterday about that and progressing and progressing mm -hmm. what's his availability for you tonight? He'll be playing tonight. Okay. What have you seen in the last 24 hours at least to, or what the medical team has told you in the last 24 hours? Just progression. That's all. Nothing jaw dropping at all. He's just gotten more conditioning, done more on the floor. Um, that's it. That part about condition, I was going to follow up. How huge is that? Because we know this with you, it's like, hey, you can be healthy, but still got to be able to move. Yeah. I mean, it's hard this time of the year to mimic um, an NBA game, but he's um, been on the floor with. Uh, Jared Jack um, a few times and, you know, doing the best he can to get to that point. So that's about it. Well, you have to watch his minutes. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have somebody like Jared who, you know, is going to, he just got finished playing. So that's a good mm -hmm. challenge. Right? I think so. Looking forward to those glances and uh, conversations with Devin tonight. Yes. <laughs> you guys like the pattern here? <laughs> what do you see just like a general boost for him when it comes to everyone thinks about the scoring with Devin Box? He's a really well-rounded overall player. The relief that he can give everyone else on the floor. I mean, more than anything, just the player that he is, but it also gives you um, <clears throat> roster balance, and it it helps to kind of settle – the order of the team a little bit, um, relatively speaking. I mean, he won't play his normal 36, 38, 40 um, workload, but it still gives you a bit more balance. Coach, you guys have been in close out games before. Last year, you had three of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, how much can you draw on that kind of experience? That gets a different, a different yeah, I just think that you can draw from those experiences, but I think what you draw from is that every series and game is different and you can't say because we did this this is going to happen you know we talked about that this morning um being in the mindset of just doing the next right thing um you know having you know good film session this morning and then step by step after that up until this point that's how we have to look at it um we cannot skip steps and we have to play this game um, even better than we played the other day because it's the playoffs and that's what you should do. And, and that has to be the mindset. Um, you, you constantly have to force yourself to not think about closing out and all that stuff. I think that's disrespectful to your opponent and to the process. As the series goes deeper and deeper, you typically see rotations get shorter. Mm -hmm. Last game, you were able to go a little bit deeper. In the yeah. Guys step up just... How encouraging is that? I mean, it was more guys, but Aaron played five minutes. Um, now, five minutes is a lifetime in an NBA game, especially in the playoffs. But it was just something that um, we talked about, um, Kevin and, and B. Gates and um, Jesse in analytics, just looking at different lineups and, and you know, past histories of guys against certain guys that allowed for us to make a decision to, you know, play a few more guys if the situation presented itself. And there were a few times it did um, and we needed it. We, we were in such foul trouble with uh, Jay and, and Cam. We needed more bodies. And looking back at that game, my insight from some of the shots starting to fall. Yeah. You just talk about the communication that you have on the defensive end and how you try to build on that coming in here tonight? I think it's the one of the pillars of our defense is just it always starts in transition and, and that starts with balanced offense but then the communication piece um, the ability to, to find a man in transition it may not be your guy and I think we did a better job there and then the 50-50 ball piece was something that we've been you know, talking about the rebound margin wasn't as bad. Um, a lot of that was, you know, just staying somewhat connected to make sure we came up with the ball, even when it was spraying around a little bit. I thought we we had a um, relatively high awareness that we had to go fight for that that loose ball.
Thank you. 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 Thank you.